in the in, uh, in the type of questions i will only talk about only two only two in CRE, we have open-ended questions and closed-ended questions. And we also sometimes have people call restricted and non-restricted. So open-ended questions is whereby you have been set for a question. Uh, give, uh, give any, give, okay, give the disciples that, that okay, give, list the disciples that Jesus chose, any disciples. You've been given seven marks and we know the disciples were how many? They were 12. So we are supposed to, you, where you have not been restricted, they have just told you to list any disciples that Jesus chose. So when you've been told to list the disciples that Jesus chose, they have not told you seven or 12. You can list even all of them. But remember I told you that when you answer these points as they are following each other, like one, two, three, four, what you have numbered very well and you give wrong names in the midri those ones will deny you because we are, those ones will deny you marks in the closed ended give paragraph form you can give the names as many names as possible but the disciples are there we will give you your points so open ended questions are questions where you have not been restricted you've been you have not been given the number of questions that you're supposed to, uh, number of answers that you're supposed to be giving but the closed ended questions, you're supposed to be, you are given the number of points you're supposed to give five lessons Christians learn from the call of the first disciples. Give five lessons or uh, five significance of Jesus, uh, uh, give five significance that Jesus used the parables and just five, seven, eight, you've been restricted. They have restricted you to give a particular number of points. So that is where we have open-ended questions and closed-ended questions. And in the open-ended questions, we have comprehension questions. Comprehension means it's like a story. Narrate or describe questions. Knowledge questions are always about state because you know the names or the, uh, you know, the, the, the all, mostly the particular names that are given. Evaluate questions are like identify. When you see something like identify eight characteristics of love, this question was set in 2017. Evaluate questions, uh, identify age characteristics of lovers given by St. Paul. Here is where students could give any answer. And they really failed because number, they could give that love is common, love is, Paul did not say that. Love is not boastful. Love does not want, on, does not uh, insist on its own way. So make sure you, the content master, identify eight characteristics. Give those characteristics. Don't just give anything that you know about love that is not in the syllabus. And it can be repeated again because this question was not attempted to. Students were giving anything that they know about love. Synthesis questions. Give six ways through Christ, uh, uh, through Christians can, uh, give six ways that Christians can uh, do away with tribalism in Kenya today. So synthesis questions are, are always nowadays set. They are difficult questions. And here, a student should read the question and make judgment out of it, especially the last topics where we talk about ethnism, we talk about tribalism, we talk about sexism, that particular topic where students are given, they are given a lot of synthesis questions out of there. Application questions are always the last questions but see significances or lessons that Christians learn from a particular question. And here in application questions, you have to know the description first before you are able to give the, uh, the answers. So I've already given the meaning of closed-ended and open-ended questions. Closed-ended questions, you have been restricted to give a particular number of answers. Open-ended, you have not been restricted. You can give as many as you can but consider numbering so that you are able to uh, get some points.